Hi guys and welcome to this week's lesson. Uh, today we're sitting on the 12th hole on the East Course. Uh, we're going to be discussing shot shape, how to hit a draw, how to hit a fade on purpose and with consistency. So first of all, we're just going to talk about how to set up for these shots and then I'm going to hit one fade and one draw and hopefully you can see the difference in the numbers with Trackman and hopefully you can learn something from it and if you do struggle with a big slice, hopefully maybe trying to hit a draw is going to try and lessen that slice so it can be a very useful video for you to try and also fix your game and understand why the ball is shaping the way it is shaping on your bad shots. So for the draw, basically with your setup, what I want to try and do is I want you to try and feel like that ball is going to be slightly more back in your stance. So ball position is always going to be slightly back with the draw. And from there, basically what you want to be feeling is you want to feel like that club is going on the way down. It's coming through a little bit more from the inside. And we're going to be aiming our feet slightly right at target. And the club face is going to be pointing straight at the target. And basically what we want to do is we want to swing along our feet line. With a draw, you don't have to be too worried about letting the hands turn over as well. So you can release the club. That's only going to help you get that ball started right and curling back to the left, hopefully. So basically, the most important thing there is aiming your feet slightly right, but the club face still stays at the target. And then using your feet line as your swing path and making sure that you swing a little bit more round and out to the right and you release your hands. So that should produce a right to left shape. If you're trying to fade the ball intentionally, what you want to do is you want to make sure that ball actually is moved up in your stance. So with a draw, we move it back here because it's actually easier to t hit it from the inside. Because you're running out of space, you actually need to feel like the club's coming on the inside. Whereas with a fade, the further forward we move it, the more we're going to feel like we're going to reach for that ball. And that's going to make us come slightly out to in on that ball. And that's going to help us hit that ball, start it left and then curl it back to the flag. So for a fade, just more forward of where you'd normally be. I like to hit it pretty much where I'd hit a three wood or a four iron from with a seven iron. Just making sure it's just inside my left heel. And what we're gonna do there is we're gonna make sure we're swinging a little bit more across our feet line, which our feet now are gonna be the opposite of a draw. We're gonna aim slightly left with our feet. Club's gonna stay pointing at the flag and we're gonna swing along our feet. So it's gonna feel more out to in. If you have a problem with turning the ball over too far right to left, what you want to try and feel in this one is you just use your hands a lot less so those hands are going to stay passive through impact. Try and hold your hands more ahead of the club face through the ball. And what that's going to do, when we swing along our feet line with a slightly open club face to our path, the ball will start slightly left of the flag and it will just gently work its way back down to the flag. Try not to swing overly aggressive with your arms and your hands on the shot. You don't want to get too steep. It's just going to be slightly out to in with a slightly open club face and that should get that ball started online and then obviously finish on target. So let's hit two shots here. Let's hit one draw and one fade and then hopefully I can show you what that looks like. Okay, so draw first. I'm going to aim this club right at the flag and then I'm going to just adjust my stance a little bit close, a little bit to the right, move the ball slightly back in my stance swing along my feet line and release the hands, turn the club over. Let's see what that does. So that's curved a little bit too much. It just didn't start it quite on line. I could have maybe swung a little bit more out to the right, but it did definitely had the desired shape on it. And then obviously with a little bit of practice, you'd get the feeling for how much to swing that club around and just get used to the feeling of where that ball is going to start and how much it's going to curve. So let's try the fade next. Okay, so with the fade, we're going to go ball right up on my left side. Aim slightly left of the green. Club still pointing at the target. I'm going to swing along my feet line and hold the club face open. And that should get that ball started just left of the pin and work its way nicely back. Pretty much ended on target. It was a little bit shorter, so be bear in mind when you are hitting a fade, generally that ball's gonna have a bit more spin on it. It's gonna go a little bit shorter. So a draw generally goes a bit further with the same decent strike as what a fade will do. So practice these on the range before you play. Get a feeling of what it feels like to change your alignment and swing along your feet line. Play around with those ball flights because it can one really help you with your swing and how to fix your swing you'll start to understand 
why you overly draw it or why you slice it. But also what it can do is it can really help you get out of sticky situations. So when you are in trouble, it can really help you get around the trees or back out into play. Or if you've got to go around something else, you know, it's just going to help you get out of those situations with, with decent success rate. And yeah, just hopefully lower those scores and gain control of your game ultimately. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next week.